Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we are testing every single mask in the world. That's right. And thank you to viewers like Carolina. You sticking with us. She sent us a bunch of masks. I'm going to test them all. Very excited to get the filter mask. At least I think that's how you say it. It's from Costco. We've tested that before. This is a different one though, so I haven't tested this one yet. So let's put it in the clamp, see what happens. Filter, it, like a lot of Costco products, is like, a, should be a very high quality, good quality product. I think, let's test this one and see if it matches uh, with what our last test was. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about what this thing does, check out that link. And remember, we are testing just the filtration here. We're not testing the fit, not possible to do with a machine. Uh, well, it is, but it's actually right here, the machine, but it's a lot more complicated. So we're not doing that, but you need both things when choosing a mask. All right. Uh, let's actually look at their website. You can, I don't know if you can buy this. Yeah, you can just buy this um, from, uh, from Costco. So any Costco is gonna have this. We actually bought it on Amazon before, like I was mentioning. Um, I'm looking filter general use face mask. I love the, the design and the brand. I think it's great. They started during the pandemic. Um, I believe it says the company's Bellevue, Washington, but I'm pretty sure this is manufactured in China. If I remember correctly. Yeah, made in China. Um, but what they've done, and look at this, they've got the lock code and everything like that. What they've done is they made this in China, but they, I mean, they just did, they basically did a really good job making a great, great brand. Um, uh, general use face mask, soft touch box, of course. Seeing if that says not for medical use. So it cannot eliminate uh, the risk of contracting an infectious disease. I love this disclaimer because it's like, but wait, isn't COVID an infectious disease? Yes. They're just covering their bases there. I'm trying to see if they're making any claims. Yeah, so they've got this tiny claim here. 95% of filtration for pollen, dust, and other air particulates. I think they just missed that last time, the, the number. Uh, let's open this up. They're individually, not individually packing these things, but they're putting them uh, in like these packs of five or 10, which is great. Yeah, here's the quality certificate from China. Look at this, they got instructions. I've never seen that before. That's really cool. They're, they're reiterating 95% filtration from pollen dust and other air particulates, which is a super generic thing. It's not really telling you how big are the particulates. We're using 0.1 micron latex particles here for this test. It's the same as the ASTM test. Uh, for the testing nerds out there, it's the F2100 test. Um, so it's a really nice mask. They are just nailing like the, like the design quality. The, the spun bond on this is just beautiful. It's the outer layer. I can just tell it's very consistent. Um, I th seem to remember their ear loops being really good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I can tell if I pull a little bit more, it's gonna, ow! If it hurts when you break it, you know it's not gonna break on your face. That's what she said. I would say that's, that's really good. It's not the strongest, like I think that, no, it's pretty good. Okay, so last time we tested, it tested at 91.1, 91.69, which is well below their claims of 95%, but they're probably gonna come back and say, well, we didn't say what size the particulates, and it's like, well, yeah, you're misleading people, so not cool, filter. This mask smells, I would call this smell a Chinese mask. <laughs> Like it's just, it's just the smell these Chinese masks have. It's a very plasticky type smell, not unbearable. It's like right in the middle of the of the thing, and it's and it, you know it's it's a greatly constructed uh, item. The nose wire is a little bit smaller than I want it to be, but again, I don't think this is going to break. Oh, maybe I don't know. It's a pretty good thing. All right, but does anything that matter if it doesn't protect you? Remember last time they hit 91. They're claiming 95 though on the box. Uh, they're not saying, they're not being specific about that, but I'm going to call them. They're claiming 95 on the box and the minimum standards in the United States, an ASTM level one mask is 95%. So they should be hit 95. What do they got? 91 last time, what do you think? Ah, 93.831, 93.831, not ideal. Now look, typically when, you, when you're testing a bunch of masks, yeah, you would test probably 20 or 30 and take the average I'm gonna give them the fact that like this could be a low test. Plus like, I don't know how these masks were stored. Caroline, I don't know what you're doing. 
Uh, you know, so it could be that like maybe they weren't stored properly, and so that brought down the percentage a little bit. I'm not going to say for sure that this is not meeting the standards, but it is pretty far off. So, um, look, if you're in a pinch, you want cheap masks, and you want masks from China. Honestly, I would just buy. If, if, if I had a Costco membership, knowing what I know about masks, I'd probably just buy filter masks to be honest. Um, but if I was like really wanting to support like American manufacturing, like there are plenty of good masks like Demotech and some others out there that, that are going to consistently hit 99 every single time. And it's like sometimes those extra percentage points do help. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you, Carolina, for sending me this mask. Send me more masks. Uh, not Carolina, you sent enough. You've done enough. Uh, but other people, send me your masks. I'll put a link right below. Thank you so much. See you on the next test.